Okay, Mr. A Terror here again. I'm apologizing for the uh, missed two videos in, in the series that I had out. Prometheus, um, where I dropped in on top of a plateau and had to jump into the river, and then I ended up building myself a base. We're just going to jump right back into that and take a peep at it. It's definitely an in-game level base. I pretty much wiped out all of my Ren uh, buying titanium and some other things. I actually finally found some titanium um, in the uh, out in the open. I had to mine it with a deep mine. But let's take a peep at what we got here. The other two videos were corrupted somehow, so don't really know what happened there. But here we go. <clears throat> there is the original where I dropped in at. And I had my emergency habitat. But this is a plateau, so a lot of you guys probably already know that it's a plateau and we're probably laughing at the fact. But I did jump off into this river here and uh, then I ended up building myself a little place down here. And now <clears throat> I have a very large base up here. There's my thumper. And with the mod that I'm using, wood is a viable option. And I've got concrete and some other stuff here. That is my foundry inside there. Hope you can see it. We'll see it from the inside. Hedgehogs work really good, uh, taking care of the drac and a few of the other creatures. I have to be careful about it because uh, they'll stab me too. All right, the oversized, uh, there's my chemistry bench, electric textile bench, electric woodworking, four material processors, one fabricator, glass, and we have the three uh, concrete furnaces, the what do they call it? The alterations bench. I only made one alteration for my rifle and gave it the uh, sniper ability. And we have the three electric uh, furnaces. Decay here for our. I have an electric one to make the fuel for my furnace for my lamps. Electric. Uh, masonry bench and I found clay in one of the caves so I made clay brick is it still making it I don't know what happened but it... huh don't know why it stopped that's odd and then here's my foundry I don't know what I'm going to make in it, but I I do have a foundry. Fireplace, bunk, all the goodies over here. I say all the goodies. This right here takes you up to the roof. Where I have, I think, 10 wind turbines and 10 solar panels. Lightning rod. Looks like my crops are need to be harvested. We'll go back downstairs real quick. And then you'll know, we'll get to see oops. Well we can do it this way. Jump off. I ended up making a I'll say let's just say call it a ladder. Let's see. 
but this was a landing started out let's turn some light on oops i didn't put a light in there did i i'll grab one of these methane lights there we go they're very bright all right, we have batteries here. Have some batteries up there. Uh, water purifier, oxygen, water storage. There's my current supply and demand, and I have batteries, obviously. And this is my repair station. Uh, we could do a quick repair. We don't need anything repaired. Well, wow. all right. This will take us down to the. So I can get it to. There we go. This is the second landing. As you can see, I did a lot of trying to make the timbers work. Unfortunately, I uh, found out that the limitation is not very good. You can't really climb all the way up. Concrete works better. But that's what we're looking at here. I'll turn this light off. You can see I wanted this mostly to be over the valley here, but it didn't work out that way. And you can see I tried many alterations and unfortunately they collapsed and I just didn't have the heart to disassemble all of it. Got two water wheels down there. They're, they're powering, but they're pretty much, the only reason I have them out here is to capture sponges. And no sponges. No sponges. Well, that sucks. But this is a plateau or, that, or a butte or whatever you want to call it. It goes all the way around. So we turn on our light here. Creature deterrent. And can run all around here. May come across some carcasses. This is one of uh, my mines. Turn my light back on real quick. I don't remember. In a couple of these caves, there weren't any worms. And that was gold. I don't need any gold now. But this one here is mining silica. We'll grab it while we're here. And we'll keep going around. Maze it. I didn't get tagged by a drag right then. But there are three caves around the bottom periphery, I believe. I think it's what it turned out to be. It hides my cursor. All right, but and that right there, I it was iron, and since I didn't need any more, I picked it up. But let's see. And this one here is copper. I really don't need any more copper right now, but I'm not gonna clean it out. I think that was it. Okay, yeah, it was there. There's. But over there on the next mountain, there's several. So we can get over here real quick. One of them has clay in it. Is 
this the one that has clay? Nope. I don't think this one actually had anything in it. It had uh, some exotics in it right here, but probably won't respawn. And then there's another one down here. Well, like I said, one, nope, it's not there. It's in the, on the other side of the mountain. Ugh. I ran cable everywhere. Yep. It's one up here. But I'm actually making pretty good time right now. Exotics up there too, and then we got another. That was for coal. I think this is. Yeah, and this one's clay. So I went ahead and 1800. There we go. I'll go ahead and take that. But like I said, this is my. I mean, all of my mining here. And I really haven't even touched this map. Look. That's it. That is it. Spent most of the time building the base. See though, I, I need a, I need the elevator mod. But like I said, this is uh, the base is pretty much safe. I say it's safe. Everything that can get up here or that can be up here gets up here. Uh, but like I said, this is where this is what I call my ready room. Crafting up here, bed here, and I had a bunch of stuff along this wall. Don't need it no more. Put some glass in. Like I said, the entire crafting setup is right there. So I'm going to turn all this off. Even though I have the lights, they're not very bright. What happened to the light here? That's strange. I mean, if I turn that light off, it'll you can tell it it is light lighted in here. But, like I said... That, this is my base. I don't think I have... The only thing I haven't done is uh, made the rest of the stuff for the uh, for the uh, ranch to, uh, and to tame anything. There's plenty of horses around here to tame and even some buffalo I've seen. But, like I said, this was my original shelter. And this right here, uh, deep mining drill, is uh, for obsidian. And I really haven't found anything any use for the obsidian. I mean, I have stuff, but I have better stuff than the obsidian. And uh, this right here's the thumper. You turn it on. You got to fight worms for like 30 minutes. But the hedgehogs in solo play are deadly. The drac. While I'm in here, I'll be crafting something up here. And the drac will run up here and kill themselves on the uh, on the hedgehogs. And I got them just enough. If you don't, they don't. They obviously come. Like I can stand right here, and creatures. I've had crocodiles come up, and I'm like, "Where's a, there's no water up here? Why is a croc up here?" But they'll run up here and sacrifice themselves on the hedgehogs. But that's the. Uh, the build and hopefully next weekend when I come in I will uh, see about exploring more of Prometheus 
but I did say I would give you guys a rundown on the base what I decided to do but this whole spot up here ow I got stabbed I got into my own hedgehogs but yeah this whole thing up here is a big giant butte plateau whatever there and there is no easy way down no ramps no natural everything is a drop and when I say a drop I when I was out searching for caves earlier I found deer and horses like that thing right there I found creatures dead at the base where they fell off and more than one drat has uh, made his way down to the bottom even one of those things right there got, got, got by the hedgehog boar found a couple of boars on the other side over there that, that didn't make it they just basically jumped off the side here like I said this whole thing is a giant butte huh get here I got a queen bee and two worker bees and some honey let's go I can take them back to my house I said I said I need to get over there and probably need to go find that map and actually uh, go look for all of the caves around here We'll go over here. Gotta put the guardrails up. Otherwise I would probably just go right off that thing and just keep just sail away. Oh what I was coming over here. Alright. I have four worker bees left. Wow. There's another queen. There's a bunch of worker bees, so. Okay, I have all of the, I guess I can get the uh, breeding thing put up. I have enough queens that I can always have uh, plenty of workers. And these right here did not go over very well. I guess I need to put actually build the glass roof over it to protect my crops. Do I have a, no, I'm just going to use the F option. Is it? Apparently they're not growing. What does it say? On the inspection. Plant fatigue. Wow. I don't I think that was a bad idea. Plant fatigue, my my foot. But I was growing most of the crops uh, for my medicine. And showing you my medicine, I'm going to go ahead and show it here. Let's see, sort, go down here to the bottom. The vitamins. I, I need to take them. Okay, now I have my vitamins. And a parasite tonic. Strength enhancement tonic, which I really don't need. This right here is kind of like uh, the survival kit. You make it with platinum weave, and it basically heals anything that a bandage would instantly. And, uh, but this right here still works in, on cave sickness and stuff like that. And this right here um, gives you 500 health instantly. So, ooh. And what am I doing with a sponge? empty container go back down here to the water but I go down here to my ready room and uh, use my ready room I need to put a light down here All right, I'll turn this light back on and here we go this is the water Let's see. Well, I'm gonna put my canteen over there and the sponge 
Now we'll put this back over. Find my canteen. Put my canteen back where it belongs. Put the sponge up there with clean water in it, just in case it had dirty water in it. Now we're going to use the oxygen, and we're going to fill our oxygen bottle up. And it's a whole lot faster than an oxide dissolver. But there you go. And I won't need to be back here for a couple of, uh, probably a couple of days now. Let's see what we have for food. Still have T-bones that need to be cooked. Alright. And then we'll go over here. Real quick sort on my food. And I can put the clay in the oven and let the clay cook. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these clay brick, but I'm making clay brick. <laughs> Since I have it. But there we go. This is my new base. I said it was going to be a big one. Like I said, I had really, really, really wanted it to be one of those where it was over the, really hanging over the ledge. And it partly is. It's really good for the, for the drac. They, they, they like to run up and come up here and try to get over. And next thing you know, they're down there. And I can go down and clean them up. I use the uh, interior posted stuff. If you notice, you'll see why. The mod gave them a lot of health. And I mean a lot of health. 21,000. And 4,000 on my concrete. Let's see what, this, what these concrete beams are. Here's one. Yeah, 4,000 on that concrete beam. But they still have their height ability with them. But I got 21,000 on, on all my wood. So, um, like I said, wood's viable. And I could actually set myself on fire and it'll catch fire, but then it'll go out on its own. It just, and it won't even do like two or three damage to the wood. But the hedgehogs are doing what they're supposed to. And like I said, I have my creature deterrent. And I've only seen one crocodile and one drac since I installed it so that thing is actually saving dracs but there we go like I said I got plenty of wind wind turbines I was using wind turbines and I said well we have to put the solar panels and the batteries and because I kept adding when I added uh, all of the uh, all the material processors and the extra two electric uh, ovens and everything in here is electric now I said what the heck I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it has plenty okay. but I'll get around to putting some more lights in eventually and like I said this is a little bit of overkill but it is my respawn point so I'm gonna put a couple of uh, cabinets in later and maybe some more furniture and uh, make it so that when if I show up here I'll have plenty of weapons and ammo speaking of weapons and ammo I'm using the explosive uh, rifle ammo uh, pretty much kills anything with one shot I was gonna shoot something but but you get the idea I can actually shoot one of these hedgehogs here I don't want to shoot one. but they got 10,000 health <laughs> Let's see if I can go up here and see what it says now. 10,000 health went down almost 3,000 in one shot. So, and it does area damage. I killed, uh, I unconscious myself. Hello there. Let's see, tell you what. Let's see what I can do right here. If I can get him. Let's see, watching. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I didn't have to shoot him or nothing. 
Like I said, the hedgehogs are awesome, especially in solo mode. And I didn't get any steaks this time, but I've been getting them like about every fourth or fifth uh, slaughter. Or skinning, or whatever you want to call it. But as you can see over here in the... Uh, Well, there they are, cooked fatty T-bone. I have 113 there, 225 there, 13 here, and another 27 that are still cooking. And that all, they only come from the drag, as far as I know. Maybe a bear. I, I don't think I've ever gotten a, a one off a bear, but that's where I'm getting my uh, fatty T-bones at. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, this is going to be short and sweet. And then I'm, like I said, uh, the chemistry bench is where it's always say, where, do you, where did you get all the medicine at? And uh, it's all made here uh, to make the vitamins. There you go. Organic resin, lily, charcoal, reed flour, and salt. That's why I was collecting all the salt right off the bat because I knew I was going to need it for the vitamins. Um, and the reed seed, I ended up uh, importing them from the station along with the uh, lily flowers because I haven't found any lily flowers here. Oh, and the wheat, I mean, I even brought the wheat down from the station. Um, but I found out where I've got the miasmic garbage or whatever that stuff is right here. I got that off of like this overgrown sludge snail thing that was up here. And I've only seen one, but apparently there's plenty of them uh, in the uh, swamps around here. So I don't know if I'm going to make miasmic anything. Um, but yeah, you can make all kinds of really good stuff that you can use. And you can put it in. You have to make this at the textile bench. Put it in your medical satchel. It's kind of like a seed uh, thing too. You can put all your medical stuff in it. We'll go ahead and open it up. There you go. There's a survival kit. There's the health recovery, 500 health. The Zego, that comes from the station. Strength enhancement tonic, antiparasitic, and vitamins. So, and I was going to make some other stuff too, but I ain't got around to doing it. But you need, uh, let's see, yeah, you need wheat to make, um, where's the uh, health tonic? The health, that's the 250 one right there. Um, and then you've got the stamina one, and then you've got uh, strength again. There's that survival kit. You use the platinum weave. And there's blood thinning tonic. Where is the... I don't remember which one it is. The health, but the health tonics all, like I said, they are made with uh, wheat and... Uh, what the heck? What is it called again? I mean, it's, I think it's make, it's trying to make a fiber out of me because I don't see it on the list. Let me go back down here and pull it out. Health recovery tonic, and I don't see them in here. But we can do this. There it is, right there. Health recovery elixir. Organic charcoal, flour, and salt. And gives you 500 health so it's really nice to have but any one of these health recovery ones are really good but yeah they're really nice to have so i'm calling it a night you guys have a good one we'll see you again another day another way mr a signing off